Hello and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the RDA. Richard Arnold replaces Ed Woodward as Chief Executive of Manchester United and before anyone gets excited or gets too happy, you know, we look back at Ed Woodward's tenure and it's been absolutely awful. He has left the club in its worst possible state ever, you know, this is not, and Richard Arnold being appointed is not something like when um, David Gill was here or, you know, Jonathan Guy Lawrence from Chelsea or let's just say Edwin van der Sar. this is not a footballing appointment this is another business appointment you know Richard Arnold isn't some like amazing football person he's just a businessman who's again somewhat like Ed Woodward who's just gonna line the glazes pockets with money and doesn't know anything not one bit about football so don't get excited don't hype it up too much yes Things are positive. It is a positive thing that getting Woodward out the door, but it should have been done a lot longer ago. And the guy we're replacing him with is also a prat. So don't get excited. You know, like I said, subscribe if you're new, smash the like. But um, yes, some some statements on this. Um, official from United, Richard Arnold will become United's new chief executive officer from February the first. Richard Arnold has said, I am honored to have the chance to serve the great club and its fans. I am determined to return that honor in any way I can. Action speaks longer than, action speaks louder than words, um, Richard. So, like I said, I'm not hyping up anything. We could get Ten Hag tomorrow. Anything United does these days, I can't see a positive in it because we tend to ruin everything. So even if he was an amazing person like Edwin Van der Sar, I still have my reservations with him coming to the club because at this moment you need to prove to us that you know what you're doing and you, you know, you're gonna benefit United, but. Until then, I don't really care. Joel Glazer said, I would like to thank Ed Woodward for his tireless work on behalf of United during his nine years as executive vice chairman and 16 years with the club. Joel, you and Ed can both get, you know, I'm not going to say you that you can, but you can both go, you know, read between the lines. Um, Ed Woodward will not be staying at United in a consultancy role that's from Cha, uh, Cha Daka. Ed Woodward will stay on United's board until the end of the season to help Richard Arnold set in. His final act may be involved in the appointment of a long-term manager. Again, there you go, just there you go. One step forward, two steps back, always with the thing. And then I just want to read the official club announcement. So there's many journalists coming out with reports of what's happening and all that stuff. But official club statement on Edward Woodward and Richard Arnold's appointment. It states that Manchester United has announced that Richard Arnold, formerly group managing director, will become chief executive officer of the club, effective from the 1st of February this year. Ed Wood will step down from his role as executive vice chairman, also effective from the 1st of February. Richard Arnold said that I am honored to have the chance to serve this great club and its fans. I am determined to return that honor in any way I can, like I've said before. Joel Glazer said I would like to thank Ed for tireless work on behalf of United during his nine years as executive vice chairman and 16 years with the club. We are now looking forward to Richard and his leadership team opening a new phase in the club's evolution, which basically means fill my pockets with money. And that's job done. Screw the football. Screw any ambitious things and all that stuff. We just want to make money and we move on from that. We are not a football club. We are a business. So I'm pretty sure with Joel, in that way, you probably have got your right man. And then he said, with the Bishop's plans to investment in Old Trafford, like I said, actions speak louder than words. The strengthening of our engagement with fans, actions speak louder than words. You have promised us communication with the fans. You promised us more interaction with the fans. That is yet to come. And even if then, you put it what in the Man United Supporters Trust Club and now you lie in their pockets and now all of a sudden the noise has disappeared? Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I'd burn everything to the ground what you guys have done. It's disgusting what the Glazers have done to this club. And then he said, and continue drive towards our most important objective, winning on the pitch. Well, that's absolute bullshit. Because if that was true, it should have been done a long time ago. We are how many years without a major trophy at United, huh? When was the last time I won the Premier League? Sir Alex Ferguson. When was the last time I won the Champions League? Sir Alex Ferguson. Ever since that great man has left United, who we can't replace, by the way. We cannot replace someone like Sir Alex Ferguson. He did everything. Now football has advanced, it's moved on. And every decision that the Glazers make, that the board make, are always the wrong decision. Now listen, I would like to give him a chance. But at this point, I am, don't give anyone a chance at United. You want a chance? You want me to prove wrong? You should do it on the. You do it on the pitch. You do it upstairs, and you show results. Until you should, I see results, or any of us see results as United fans. I couldn't care less what you do, who you are, because at this point, you are ruining the club, and you're just wasting more time of our life. You know, we all know that it's all good. That you're saying all of this communication with the fans, winning on the pitch, but we all know it's a whole lot of nonsense. So until we proved otherwise, which I hope we do, 
but don't believe it not one but do i believe it until that happens i'll have my reservations so let me know what you guys think about richard arnold replacing edward Wood. do you think it's going to be good do you think it'll be benefit for united because i definitely know the probably benefit the glazers whether or not it'll benefit united football club which is what we are i have my reservations so do smash a like in the uh do smash a like comment down below your thoughts and subscribe if you're new i'll check you all very soon goodbye